So today I thought I would do a video basically on a conversation that I've been having with a couple of my guy friends who have all been kind of talking to me about the fact that every time they go for a haircut something or other goes wrong. Like either it's too short, it's too long, it's cut funny, um, they don't like the texture of their hair, they don't think it suits them and basically they've been asking me for kind of ways in how they can avoid a bad haircut. So I thought it would be a perfect idea for me to do a video on this because I have gone through so, so many bad haircuts. Like, I'll try to do photos on the sides of here, but um, so many bad haircuts in the past, and it's taken me like a couple of years to kind of learn how to avoid the situation altogether. So I'm basically gonna split this video into five steps that I think that if you follow really well, you should be able to get a good haircut, or at least what you want. So the first step I have, basically, is to know what you want. Like, I seriously can't understand how people just go into the hairdressers, sit on the chair, and just say, um, okay, I think I just want it shorter on the sides and kind of long on the top. And it's just like, are you serious? Everyone has a different idea of what long and short is, you know. A hairdresser might think, like, long is, you know, that, you know, that much hair is long hair and short is like, you know, bold on the sides. So you really need to be specific about what you want. And I think if you don't understand what you want, like, how do you expect to get a good haircut? How do you expect to get what you want when you don't know what you want? Like, it's just so ridiculous. So I think the best way to combat that is basically to do some kind of research online. If there's a celebrity that you like, the hair of, or there's a you know, fashion model that you kind of like their hair, have a look through different pictures online, have a look through some blogs, and this brings me to the second step, which is basically to take a picture into the hairdresser. It's like, it's so, so easy to do these days. You can just download it and put it onto your phone and show them what you want. Um, I will show you what photo that I take to the hairdressers. And this is it. It is of um, British model Sebastian Bryce. He's a Burberry model. And hopefully you can see that my hair looks um, quite a lot like that right now. And I think it's really important to get a good photo that shows kind of different angles. Like this is probably a photo. I always get comments that that's like the perfect photo to take in when I go to a hairdresser. Especially if I go to the one that I go to now. And it's basically all about being able to show the hairdresser through that photo or different photos what you want the hair to look like on the sides, the back, the front, everything. Like, you have to give them as much detail as possible so that they know what they can do to give you that look. Now the third step I have is basically to do some research on the salon. So if you don't have a one that you go to regularly ready, um, go through Google basically type good hairdressers in whatever city that you live in and you should find like heaps of links to different websites of um, different salons that they've set up for themselves. Um, that's how I found my salon right now, like the one that I've been going to for the last six months and I'm never going to turn back. Like I love that place to bits. So definitely have a look um, through Google. If you can't find anything through Google if you live in a smaller town, um, try to look through forums. and. Um, I know for Australia we have Vogue Forum, but, which is mainly like for females, but um, there's a lot of kind of threads in there that talk about, oh, where can I find a good hairdresser for my boyfriend, oh, where can I find a good hairdresser for my brother, you know, that kind of thing. So have a look through forums, they always have, you know, really honest reviews, people always also leave um, kind of links to, not links, but like leave the names of hairdressers that they've been to at the different salons that they know that do a good job so you can like easily just call up the salon and say can I book an appointment with you know Jeff or you know Tess or you know that kind of thing. So it's so easy to look through those forums and they are such a great deal of help. Now basically the fourth thing is the most, well is one of the most important steps and it's basically to be honest and watchful while you're getting your hair cut. There have been so many times where I've just sat in the chair and watched like something go wrong. Like I could have stopped it, but I was just watching, like waiting for it to go wrong. No, don't do that, seriously. Like, especially with fringes, I think that's the worst place to be. Like, it's so stressful for me, even to this date, even though I trust my hairdresser, it's still stressful to me. And I always have to be like, okay, I really want my fringe to be longer. Like, don't cut it much at all. Like, I just want a very slight trim. So you have to be forceful almost, but obviously in a kind way, otherwise they're not going to take that very well. But um, 
you know, be honest with them, be directful and be helpful so that, you know, you're not getting the wrong thing and you're not watching yourself get the wrong thing. So definitely a good like step to kind of keep in mind when you're sitting in the chair to watch what's happening and to kind of understand where you can tell them, like where you can tell them before it happens to stop something going wrong. Now the fourth step is probably the one that you guys might be a bit puzzled by but I'm going to explain it anyway. It's basically to learn a bit about hairdressing. Like it sounds funny because you'd expect your hairdresser to be have learnt everything and why would you pay for a service and like want to learn about it as well. But honestly if you don't have any idea of how your hair has been cut or what suits you, like how can you expect to kind of have an idea of what's the right thing for your hair, what's the right thing for your face. So I think I'm going to go through four kind of main techniques that um, I've found hairdressers use on me and i found that are basically global. The first one is the most basic, it's the clipper cut, which is basically with the machine. Um, anyone who's had the, the clippers used on them will know that there's different um, guard sizes. So number one is really, really short, it's like almost bold. And I don't know where it goes up to, maybe number seven or so, which is like probably a lot longer, like maybe that much hair. So basically the clippers give a very kind of sharp look and it's really neat. So that's what I would say with the clippers. And um, I think the most general haircut that's done with the clippers is just the clippers on the back and the sides and then on the top that's cut with the scissors basically. So that brings me to the second kind of technique which is the scissor cut. Which is really basic, you know, it's for people who want kind of a softer look that's just cut with the scissors or maybe more a uniform look. So nothing kind of too sharp or too neat just kind of in between, um, that's a good thing for a scissor cut. So the third one is probably the one that I hope some of you guys may be aware of and if you're not I hope you find this in kind of interesting. It's basically um, the use of a razor, like a, you know, a shaving razor, like not a proper like shaving razor but one of the cutthroat ones that they have um, in traditional barber shops and stuff. So this is used more in I think female hairdressing than men's hairdressing but I think there's a big crossover right now and basically what it is it's the, um, it's just a like plain razor, I'll, I'll leave a link below, maybe I'll do a photo. But basically what the hairdresser does, they grab a strand of hair, like that, and they usually twist it, and then they'll grab the razor and like glide it along the hair so that it cuts it like off, but like not like, straight, like a scissors, like it cuts it off like a line, in a line. And basically what that does, it adds volume to your hair, it gives the like kind of layers and the wispy it, like look to it. So that's what I think a razor cut's really good for. I used to get my hair um, done like with a razor at the top. Um, I think I could use it right now because mine's quite thick at the moment. But um, I think it's a great technique to use and it leaves your hair feeling really soft and um, just kind of easy and um, easy to manage and style as well. So um, if you haven't tried the razor um, technique before, see if your hairdresser is familiar with it and definitely try it out. So the last um, technique is basically the thinning scissors and I think a lot of people are familiar with this and basically what it does is it cuts every kind of third or fourth hair and it kind of helps to reduce the weight off your head. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say on this topic. Um, if you guys found this video helpful, please let me know. Um, if there is any other kind of video that you guys want me to do, um, leave a comment below. It doesn't take very long. Or send me a personal uh, message through YouTube. But um, I will leave more links below in the description bar for where you can kind of find more pictures or where you can find um, articles to um, learn more about this topic. So that's it for me right now. And I hope you guys all take care and bye for now. Bye.